I can promise you, no immigrant parents decided, hey, let's leave Asia, all of our friends and families behind, so my kids can grow up in North America and become a day trader. Hello, my name is Shay, aka Humboldt Trader. I'm a Taiwanese Canadian immigrant living in Vancouver. I started out day trading part time many years ago while I worked my full time job in film and VFX. And fortunately, I got to quit that job many years later and become a full time profitable day trader. Today, I'd like to share with you my immigrant story and how my upbringing in North America has truly transformed me to become the full time day trader I am today. Spoilers there was a lot of tears, shame, and most importantly, a lot of hard work and perseverance. So, if you want to hear more, then keep on watching. And don't forget to drop a like at the bottom of the video if you're interested in hearing more personal stories like these. So just for some context, I was not born in Canada. I immigrated here with my family from Taiwan when I was 12. And if there's anything that I noticed at a young age and really upon my first week living in Canada, is that I learned the concept of money and wealth really quickly. And the reality is, this was the first time ever in my entire life that a thought popped up in my head. Wow, I didn't realize we were poor. Back in Taiwan, we were just like most other families we see, living an average middle class lifestyle. You really don't need a lot of money to live a very comfortable life in Asia. We enjoyed good food as a family, our home looks like just like everyone else's. I attended a public school where all my classmates ate the same lunch from the school cafeteria. We all wore the same uniforms to school, and there's really no point of comparison or contrast between each other, and there's no need at all to evaluate each other's financial background. This completely changed when we immigrated to Canada, and more specifically, Vancouver, Canada. Well, back then in the early 2000s, the housing cost isn't as crazy as it is right now, but it's still not exactly affordable for immigrant families. And I know at this point, a lot of people are thinking, wait a second, I thought all immigrants are filthy rich. Like Nick Young from Crazy Rich Asians. Don't they just roll off the boat and straight into the Lamborghini at the airport? <sighs> All I can say is, that is a gross generalization. While I obviously can't speak for every single immigrant out there, most immigrant families I know from the early 2000s have a hard time adjusting to the North American life financially. And don't get me wrong, I know I'm extremely fortunate that my family still had the means to immigrate to Canada. My parents have always been smart with their money and very frugal about their finances, and I'm extremely grateful for that. It's just that after moving to Canada, it was the first time I was sitting next to very well off kids and seeing the new normal here in the lifestyle in Vancouver. I see my classmates eating fancy lunches with desserts, drinks, and fruits. My classmates had big houses, two or three car garages, with a nice front lawn with a big backyard and a basketball hoop in the front. Well, we lived in a tight little two bedroom apartment. The first few years of financial challenges were tough. However, my family never let that stop us. We are resourceful. We don't sit there and whine and sulk and cry in that our apartments don't compare to other kids' big houses or that our cheap car does not compare to everyone else's Mercedes. Which, by the way, you guessed it, this is still the same Toyota Corolla I'm driving today, more than one decade later. It's a true symbol of my immigrant family's perseverance, and it reminds me every day of where I came from and how hard I've worked at to get here. And a big part of how I got here is learning from my immigrant parents, especially my mom. My mom is an internal optimist. She moved us here for a better life and a better future here in Canada. She believed that she needed to set a good example for my siblings and I. Instead of just saying, well, we don't have money, so we can't afford this or that, my mom turned those financial situations into lessons for us. She taught us the value of each and every single cent, 
And if we wanted to do something such as going out to eat at a restaurant once a month, well, then you better work for it. During our first few years in Vancouver, we collected coupons so we can go buy groceries or everyday essentials at a discount. My siblings and I, we all had multiple newspaper delivery routes, with the help of my mom, of course. Together, we would make about $50 to $70 Canadian a month. And that's the money we would use to go out to eat once a month as a family. We bought everything secondhand at garage sales, bikes, sports gear, pianos. And even in high school, when I was in grades 10 to 12, I worked two part-time jobs at Tim Hortons and the movie theater to help pay for the bills. No, I regret to say that it wasn't an AMC entertainment theater. We don't have those in Canada. What a shame. During the first three years as new immigrants, I only recalled seeing my mom cry once when we almost got kicked out of our apartment rental. I mean, if she didn't show us how to solve these problems, then we just gotta pack up and go back to Taiwan. She had already left her family, friends, and a very comfortable life back there. She had sacrificed way too much to just give up on this chance to immigrate to Canada for a better life. There's literally no other option. Our life was not glamorous at all, but it taught me and my siblings that you would never make a better life for yourself by sitting there whining and complaining that you don't have rich parents and that you weren't given a silver spoon and born into a trust fund. That was the perfect storm for me to build up the foundation for my future work ethic and positive mindset which is something I carried throughout my entire career in VFX and later on to day trading full time. I wouldn't have chosen to grow up any other way. I learned to work hard and realized that anything worthwhile takes time. I took the same lessons and applied them when I was applying for college and competing for exclusive scholarships or negotiating salaries and contracts once I started working in VFX. And I think this should be something applicable to everyone, whether you are day trading or working in VFX or any other career. I think at this point, many people would easily say, oh, you're, so you're saying your motivation to work so hard is to have more money and buy more things. And that's simply not true. And it's from my upbringing as a new immigrant many years ago that I found the true motivation to work hard and succeed in my career. And the motivation is a better life for my parents. They worked so hard so they can raise us here in Canada. I want to make them proud. I want them to know that all the years of coupon clipping and shopping at the clearance section in grocery stores and saving empty bottles and cans and all the other sacrifices they've made all these years so we can afford to live in North America were not for nothing. I remember vividly one time back in 2005, I went grocery shopping with my mom at the very end of the store because that's where all the discounted produce are. Those are perfectly fine foods. They just don't look as perfect or as shiny. We were just picking through the apples there when a man pushed through my mom and I and said under his breath, if you can't afford to shop at the front of the aisle, then you should go back to China. And this was just one story out of many others in our early years as new immigrants here and I will never forget any of it. My parents may have spent a few years being looked down upon and receiving those humiliating remarks, but now I want to make sure they will never have to deal with any of that for the rest of their lives. And let me clarify, this was never an obligation. My parents never forced me to take care of them or expected anything in return from me. This was not an obligation, but a fundamental desire. This is the real reason I hustled through my early 20s for my career in VFX and now day trading full time. When you have a greater motivation and purpose than just yourself, you don't mind failing multiple times on your way to success for any endeavor. 
And it's through the same amount of work ethic that I made my way up from the bottom as a junior 3D artist to a senior in a matter of two years. When I decided to start day trading to supplement my employment income, I paper traded, tested out strategies, and yes, I did lose a few small accounts. But I took those lessons as market tuition to learn. While 90% of new traders looked for shortcuts to get rich quick in trading, like the alerts, the signals, and the copy trading, I did the things no one wanted to do. I spent more time observing the market than clicking buy or sell buttons. I journaled and I saved the charts, and I repeated the same trade planning process day in and day out. And when I finally decided it's time to quit my job to go day trade full time, I didn't just quit cold turkey. I worked hard at both hustles and saved up and prepared for the big transition. The story of why and how I quit my job to day trade full time probably needs a video of its own because just like immigrating to Canada, it was never as simple as it may seem. So let me know in the comment section below if you want to hear my story of how I quit my job to day trade full time. It's never been just about making money. Sure, the money is great, don't get me wrong, but that's only a byproduct of many years of hard work and having a greater purpose and motivation than just being able to afford the latest iPhones, Gucci's, or buying myself a Lamborghini. I wanted a better life for my parents. I want them to know their greatest investment of their lives, which is me, is paying off. Well, actually, my mom still very enjoys shopping at the clearance section. And yes, she saves all the empty bottles and cans from home. And the car my dad allowed me to get him in Taiwan is still a Toyota Corolla. 2021. This is the reason I work so hard. This is how I got through tough jobs in VFX and in trading. Especially through all the struggles and all the losses, both emotionally and financially, while transitioning to day trading full time. Looking back now as an adult, I wouldn't have changed how I grew up in Vancouver any other way. I'm so thankful for all the experiences and all the hardship, and so grateful to have parents who are strong and taught us the true value of money and hard work. There's this saying I read somewhere in Taiwan that really resonated with me. It's the kids with no umbrellas who will run the fastest in the rain. While I cannot say I grew up with no umbrellas because I'm so lucky to have strong parents showing me the way, I can definitely say for certain that they taught me how to run fast in the rain. So if you're going through some tough times right now, whether that's with day trading or your career, or you're going through some financial struggles, hopefully my story shows you what perseverance and hard work can lead to down the road. Nothing worthwhile ever comes easy. The easiest thing to do is always just to sit there and cry and complain. But if you put in the work and put your mind to it, many years later, you're gonna be so glad you did. If you guys want to hear more stories about how I quit my job to day trade full time, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to read more about my day trading journey, you can check out my website at humbledtrader.com. This has been a very emotional and introspective video to make for me personally. So hopefully you enjoyed learning about my journey. If you did, please do remember to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm The Humble Trader and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like these, make sure to subscribe for more. If you want to learn more about day trading and how to get started, remember to check out my website at humbledtrader.com for more resources, and I will see you guys there.